Louisiana Beer Reviews, Old Foghorn Barley Wine Style Ale. 9.4% alcohol for this bottle from 2013. I've been aging it for five years. This beer was first brewed in 1975 in San Francisco, California. It's an ale brewed with natural flavor. I just earlier today did a review of a beer made with natural flavor. Seagram's Escapes Peach Fuzzy Nasal. Nasal. <laughs> yeah, nasal. <laughs> Fuzzy Navel. <laughs> okay. That's what you ought to make, Seagram's Fuzzy Nasal. All right. Then it was first bottled. This was first bottled in 1976, so 42 years ago. I don't have an anchor glass. They're showing a glass just like this. But it says Anchor. This one says Budweiser. Oh, well. Anheuser-Busch was bought out by an international corporation. And Anchor was bought out by an international corporation. The barley malt used in this beer is uh, two-row pale barley malt and um, caramel malt. That's it. The hops are cascade only for bittering and aroma hops. Uh, dry hopping. Um, at the end. So, simple beer, water, two-row caramel, uh, two-row pale, I mean, caramel, barley malt, and Cascade hops. Beer Advocate says it's very good. So, like a B-plus in rape beer says, very good. It's a 98 out of 100. Nearly perfect. And a 95 in the style, so like one of their top beers. All righty. Well, it's sunny, and that is so bronze. Now, with the sunshine out, it's more brown, but with the sun shining through it, I wish you could see that. It's just a brilliant bronze with some, with a, just a heavy flow of ascending bubbles, like a reverse cascade. Uh, yeah, there's some sediment chunks for sure, some yeast chunks all about. I don't know how it's gonna taste five years old. I did the Santa Claus classic five years, and I thought it's going to taste old, you know, turned fruit. Uh-uh, no way. It tasted good. It was heavy in the fruit, the figs, the raisins, the um, prunes and all that. But, uh, hey, hey, it was dynamite. Ho, ho, ho. There is so much cake sediment at the bottom. You would not believe. Well, you probably believe it after five years. That's a soapy head, I guess. At the top looks like soap and uh, like dishwashing liquid. And then, uh, but from the side, it's just uh, ivory colored. Looks beautiful. A beautiful beer at 11:40 a.m. <sighs> it's a sharp aroma now. These barley wines have that sharp. I don't know what you call it, sharp barley, sweet and sour sauce. I don't know how to describe these beers. <laughs> Hop resin, ooh, that's bright, that's a bright beer. I've said that before, some beers are downbeat and some are upbeat, and this is an upbeat beer. <sighs> Sweetness. You wouldn't think it was five years old. 9.4% alcohol, barley wine. Let's go. And it was brown bread and the aroma too. Brown bread crust. The taste. Ho. Oh, oh, mama. Uh. <laughs> San Francisco crazies. Okay, um. It's such a good taste. <laughs> it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's strong, but not too strong. Can you believe after five years, this, or you know, approximately five years, this beer still has a strong hop note. 
I mean, yeah, it's becoming very malty and sugary and sweet and brown bread crust and syrup and some caramel candy and all that. Okay, yeah, but there's still hop bitterness here. There's still hop action going on with the hop oils, the hop resins, this Cascade hop to balance it out. It's kind of sweet though, <laughs> but in a, in a good sweet way. It's kind of weird because it's kind of weird, man. It reminds me of Paul Honor Salvatore a little bit, which is a doppel Bach lager, a high gravity dark malt liquor from Germany, Paul Honor Salvatore. Um, yeah, you know, but it's like, um, not too sweet of a finish. It's not cloying at all. <laughs> it's a medium dry finish. A oh, dynamite beer. They're saying very good on Beer Advocate. I have to go on the side of rape beer in this instance. And I criticize rape beer mainly because they dog on average beers. You know, like for, like, for instance, Budweiser, they might say it's a 5 out of 100. This is a 98. That's a 5. <laughs> well, let me tell you. I knew Budweiser. I worked with Budweiser. Senator, you're no Budweiser. No, I mean, but you know, um, Budweiser is hardly a five. <laughs> well, we'll address that at another time. There's a code, guys, at the bottom of the bottle. And it says, 212C-1-1503. Now, if you can figure that out. And then over here it says 3UJ. Near 2013. Under the J. There's a treasure under the J. At Santa Monica Beach. Okay. Or is that under the W? Oh, look at that gray cloud. Look at that gray descending yeast cloud. Wowza, this is gonna cloud up. If you don't like chunks in your beer, then you will, you will be approaching this with so much great fear. The yeast makes it less bitter. It takes some of the hop note away. It makes it maltier. Why? I do not know. Does it even at... Almost, I almost said, does it even add banana to it? But I'm glad I didn't say that because um, people would have said, what? Banana? Are you mad? So, whew. Headed that off at the pass, caught that. I caught myself. All right, but anyway, but it, it has a lot of intricate little qualities. Okay, um, but all kidding aside, and all not kidding aside, um, oh yeah, I mean, it's, it is a 98 out of 100. It is a 98 out of 100, and aging it did nothing to hurt it. Now people say, well, yeah, when, it, when it's fresh, it's too hot. Oh, I like them hot. Some like it hot, some don't. So um, I like them both ways. Hot and not so hot. Fresh and not so fresh, like five years old. So whatever the case, this is a, an outstanding beer. You notice I almost said world class. I wouldn't go that far, but it's close. It's awesome. It's great. And it's so inexpensive. So can you buy an awesome, and I mean awesome beer, for a cheap price? Here's the evidence. So les et les bon temps, les. It's finally warm enough to sit outside again. Couldn't sit outside, it's too cold. I mean, I could have, but I'd have been shivering like, oh, this beer is good, so good. So, and y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Look at that, son. Look at that dry weather that we get 20 days a year. 